Hey everybody, how's it going? So we're going to do a, a quick project today. It shouldn't take more than like an hour or so. Uh, we're going to take this, this extra shelf that I have, this rubber made shelf. It's a 12 by 48 sheet and we're going to make uh, a simple little router cable uh, to hold my adjustable rugby router. Because um, I've got some small pieces that I process on the CNC that I need to do some roundovers or some chamfers around the sides that are just too small to sort of use with the, uh, the typical function of this. So we're going to use this piece and we're going to make a, a quick little router table. We're going to use basically 16 inches of this to be the, the top, the router top, and there'll be a hole uh, in the top for the router bit to pop through with some holes to catch the plate uh, from the underside. And then we'll use the rest of this uh, to simply build legs. And so it's going to be a pass through in the bottom. This is not going to be fancy. This is going to be something that you can knock out and in hopefully about an hour, if not less. Um, so anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so we're all cut up now. So we've cut our top here at 16 inches, um, and so it's 16 by 12. And I've gone ahead and marked the center location um, of the top plate. These are going to be our 12 inch legs. So these will sit on top just like that. And then we've got some extra pieces here just for some, some simple blocking and uh, squaring up. Make sure this thing stays square and stays rigid throughout the, the life of it. Um, so it's pretty simple. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drill out the hole using a one and three quarter inch hole saw here. And I'm just going to clamp to my workbench for now. Just to make it a little easier. Now, a note when you're cutting these things on a miter saw or when you're about to use a hole saw, Start with your finished edge up, and so um, you'll get the cleanest cut that way. And before you get through the bottom, when your pilot bit pokes through it, flop your piece over and cut from the other side. So we'll do that here, and then you get a, a much nicer uh, cut through. So there we go, we're all cut through. Now the next thing we're gonna do is make sure that we can get our plate all lined up here. So we're going to go through this, we're going to step this down so that the, the heads of these are sunk into the, the bed without causing the bed going through it. So I'm going to use a 5 inch spade bit. I'm only going to go about halfway. And then we're going to go ahead and finish this up with a bit that is wider than that. So now we should be able to drop these in here and they will hold steady and they do not come across the top. Okay, so we've got our top ready to go. We're going to go ahead and put this together with some finish nails. I'm going to leave about a one inch gap over here all the way around just so that we can clamp. Um, Clamp a guide on later on if we need to. Okay, and there we go. That's it. Now we can put on our router.
Okay, so we are uh, we're all set up here. Um, the table's on, the mat, uh, router's mounted at the bottom, and I've got a little chamfer bit in there, and we're just going to round over the edge of this catch-all before I finish up all the inside sanding here on the, the inside portions of it, but I just want to give uh, the edges here just a nice little chamfer. So we're going to test this thing out. Well, it's snowing now. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, uh, there's my free 99 router table.